calls has never been heard correctly. So it's time to turn off the light on garbage and let the Lord rock and roll this world so that we stop being hog heaven people, believing all others go to hell except us. Total hip hypocrisy. Know ye not that all people are born of love? Know ye not that God wants none to go to hell? That is why he says, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity. And I can never remember. If he remembered it for anyone whose love is as a child, then his word would be a lie. So it's time to remove the veil off the latter day mountain, which is this channel. And then hog heaven can be no more. So let's get it down and display that which we need to embrace. And then hell's bells will chime a whole different song and it'll bring forth the peacefulness of beauty in these days as the Lord's glory covers the earth as waters covering the sea. So stop the flames of hell and stop our exclusive uh, um, understandings that only we get to go to heaven. Uh, those that believe in the resurrected Lord, because that's always been bunk. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord, I believe. And he's going to say, I don't know you. You let your love light go out, because that's the unforgivable sin. He is love living within us. And there is no good man, no, not even one, Romans 3.10. There's nothing good about you, nothing good about me. It's Christ Jesus living within my heart, who is love manifested within me that makes me good. There, most people are good. And all of those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. That is the secret name of, of Christ in Mark 4 for those who really want to know. So in this hour, it's time to reveal the truth about false prophets because the false prophets of the world are those that would deny the unity of love, those that uh, embrace disunity amongst all peoples, those that would cause friction between peoples to un unlovingly come forth for their heavenly cause of argumentation. Because in the final analysis, when the word has revealed his everlasting covenant to the world, it's time that we realize there's no conditions there, uh, asserting his unconditional love over one and all of us. That's why he says, I shall be your God, you shall be my people, and I shall forgive your iniquity and never remember and write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, he says, none shall ever even need to be taught of me anymore, saith the Lord. I am Danny from the north uh, in Isaiah 41's prophecy. So uh, I'm going to make this quick because uh, I'm getting tired. It's been a long, long day. You ever have one of those people? Salutations and love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our living Prince of Peace. Spiritual sharks, false prophets of the world, they cut people to the bone. Leaders of religious abominations daring to lead the Lord's ignorant sheep astray into being only wheat uh, or only tares instead of wheat. They are far worse than any great white sharks because of their deadly deceptions, like teaching people erroneously that all throughout the Hebrew word, word uh, it was never uh, Israel that the Lord was prophesying to and for, but rather that it was Christians instead that they were spiritual Israel. This was always a lie because the Lord addressed it correctly to Israel and all mankind. That's why when this message of his love comes forth, just as it says in Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2, that his love would be the veil that would be pulled off all nations, as Isaiah 25 and Isaiah 60 foretold 
in the days that has covered all mankind, for all mankind has been serving a false god of conditional love, when truly there is no love at all if love is conditional. As soon as there is any strings attached, the love divine is not divine any longer. And so let the wise finally come to see uh, that the greatest woe shall now come forth to such unenlightened teachers who shall additionally dare to deprive God's people of love from receiving this, this uh, written word, line by line, precept by precept, with the strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm pulling down, uh, and he would be as hell. Uh, and have, be as greedy thereof as he embraces all people of the earth, as Habakkuk to foretell. And so in these days, it's the time to exalt the words, Lord of exaltation, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end. Daniel 12, 9 had to reopen for his message of Malachi 3, 1, that would prepare his way by his unadulterated word with no conditions in it whatsoever just that we commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, let our love light go out. Because truly all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. And so in this hour, such apostates uh, are now identified to be like some pesky mosquitoes only desiring really to suck the financial blood out of all those coming towards their dimmest light of truth, only partial truth truths have been preached in this world. The banquet tables are covered with toxic mold. Uh, and for that reason, the Lord has sent forth he who would come to feed the master's household meat while the master was away, Matthew 24, 20, 45 declares. And this is the spiritual mountain of uh, Isaiah 25 that was foretold, the latter day mountain that where the Lord would remove the veil of gross darkness of love from off the nations. And so moreover, such ignorant shepherds, they never dare preaching the whole truth as they continue offering the starving sheep of God some more watered down truths of their tainted interpretations that only twists God's bread of love into pretzels so that it doesn't have really any nutrition left. So it, no more shall the, the those of love have have uh, milk of his word. People's teeth are rotten and lots of bad breath for milk that has long ago spoiled. Now it is time to meet. Get your dentures out, people, if you're old. And so know that as the unfortunate sheep of such apostate shepherds keep grazing on such empty spiritual food, teaching condemnation and uh, unloving kindness towards one another, uh, and uh, people like that, their hearts become devoid of love's highest praises because they don't know how much love really loves. And so people will just keep on starving while becoming far too sick to even be able to think correctly. God despises all ignorant religion born from the midst of hell. So quit the hog, hogging heaven people and realize that God is the Lord God of all mankind. He declares so in Jeremiah 32, 27. And in this hour, I am Elijah that was to come to Latter-day Daniel, of Daniel 12, 13. And as the one foretold as having eyes red and dull of wine, Genesis 49, 12, I am Shiloh. Uh, Moses never even heard the name of the first Elijah because the first Elijah had not yet come, so he named Elijah Shiloh. Jesus was never an alcoholic with eyes red and all the wine. My eyes are red because I smoke weed for my back. I got terrible arthritis, actually. But one thing is for sure, our Lord God Most High, he abhors, detests, and hates the sinfulness of every poor excuse for religious leadership that will dare preaching words of damnation towards the blazing fires herein. And he says unto every religious person uh, condemning this channel like ran the beast, oh, you're a wicked man. That's one of the comments I just got. Wicked man, wicked man. <laughs> you're like the, the invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> Morphin. It is sick in this world, and people like that are sick, and they are ignorant. But uh, if anyone mocks this channel, God shall not be mocked. 
he promises in preparation for his most perfect uh, preparation of his peace, which is his kingdom age of covenant given correctly to Israel and all mankind. That with that, he says, anyone who does not glorify my kingdom of love, all you religious people out there, he says, I will take the diarrhea shit, the dung from your most favorite solemn blessing, and I will smush it in your face like three stooges pie in the eye. Time says the Lord God, if you mock Daniel, my servant, by Elijah of uh, Malachi 4, we must turn our hearts to one another. Unless everybody starts loving everybody, this world is doomed. And we would have days burning as an oven uh, where it will end up in these days exactly as the days of Noah, that there would be no birds, no fish left upon the earth, and no mankind, Zephaniah 1 1 declares. That is our future if we will not turn around. For it is my job to try to turn this world around, not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love. And so in this hour, God himself is sending his dove of love ablaze with heaven's holiest fires uh, to, to help uh, our most regal eagle of the eons as he transforms our hearts into victorious overcomers. Uh, so that we can obediently begin searching more for his spiritual truths. But understand that in his covenant, he says, and all shall know me from the least to the greatest of all mankind, if they keep their love alive as a little child. And so in this hour, the Lord is magnifying his spirit of love upon all people, pouring out his flesh upon everyone as it is written in the word. And understand now that all false prophets refusing to give their own people the highest praises of this gospel of everlasting gospel of Revelation 14 are deaf and they, they will never uh, even survive, much less thrive. So uh, people like that are, will just be religious Pharisees bleeding their people out of their own ability to remain safe from ungodly spiritual brainwashing that they have asserted over them, hypnotically mesmerizing them with a bunch of bunk that's never made any difference. There's no reason for mankind to have disputes about faith. There is no good man, no, not even one. It is love living in us. And it's time to realize that love is not even love unless it is given away. And it's damn sure that if there's conditions upon love, it's not divine at all. And so in these days, the doom of brainwashing does not have to come. It is my job to turn the battle back at the gates of hell so that mankind can be spared just as Jeremiah 30, 24 foretells for this hour. For the Lord God says, it is written, it shall be considered in these latter days that I am willing to return my terrifying, fierce anger if my people will just give me the desire of my loving heart for them to be loving and kind, to let kindness be the language that turns frowns into smiles as they turn upside down. And so it's time to realize that such wretched danger of fo false prophets can't even be seen. A curse of them be the spiritual uh, mosquito, for its ugly truths are subtle and seemingly non-threatening, but the reality is quite opposite, especially when considering that millions of very sorry souls so swiftly uh, wither away in their rotting flesh every year from such germ germ-laden bites that are not even usually felt until it's far too late. How many of you ever have felt a mosquito uh, biting you? Because they release a, a, a numbing agent so that we can't even feel it. And that is what has been brainwashed into us. Our minds have been numb, comfortably numb by a religion that has been so twisted around by mankind's twisting. Uh, Israel has always been Israel and Christianity has never been as they have falsely asserted. So therefore be no fool for it would be better if religious leaders condemning the truth of this gospel of kingdom age love of the whitest fluttering wings if they were to show themselves as having the false faces of an angry spirit spitting cobra it would be better for them instead of their true unseen hypocritical faces that mostly resembles nothing more than a malaria germ. 
And so it's time to, for uh, masquerades to finally end. And therefore, in the meantime, at a very bare minimum, if such false prophets show themselves to be the snakes, the vipers like Randabees really are, at least their poisonous fangs would be seen by multitudes of unsuspecting souls who are laying in wait to prey upon. Unfortunately, though, their deadly spiritual germs could never be seen with any natural eyes. It's like a force of demonic that still lingers around in this world, even though Satan has been removed in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, because the covenant has been given to all mankind, the law of love. God saying, I am your God, you are my people, I have forgiven you, and I will never remember it. If he remembered it, he would be alive by the letter of his own law. I am the giver of the law of love. I am alive. And so it's time to realize that only through the supernatural vision of God-given enlightenment may any obedient child of life ever possibly see that multitudes within spiritual leadership all over the world in all religions are now, even now, spreading hateful germs of spiritual death and condesc uh, uh, cons condescending uh, spiritual bigotry and racism. These people looking down on those. These looking down on those. It's all foolishness. So fear not, and so shall it be that such enemies of God shall soon become known by their rotting fruits. And as such, when uh, this holy gospel, everlasting gospel of revelation comes forth releasing the Lord's praises, when it finally becomes known to people of truth and people that are really moving in love, then they shall give themselves away as being children of dimming darkness if they will not awake, uh, because that is what's giving birth to hardened hearts. So know that apostate mosques, churches, and synagogues in this world will never, ever want to talk about this messenger who was foretold to be from the north in Isaiah 41. I am the messenger unto Israel that their name is now Chrislam. That is the name God has appointed to them and according to Isaiah 62. It says so. And telling them that they have inherited all mankind because it was their covenant. Isaiah 54, 3 foretells exactly as I'm saying, revealing that we have nothing but desolate heritages. Isaiah 49, 8 declares it. And so in this hour, without hesitation, such people would forbid the highest praises of this last message of God from ever being spoken within any of their apostate places of worship. And all religion is now obsolete on planet Earth, as the last uh, sentence of Hebrew 8 declares and prophesied for this hour. For when you hear the words, I am your God, and you are my people, that's it, it's over, it's done, time for kingdom age to begin. And so then shall people's rebellious houses, people standing against this inferno of love herein, uh, their houses shall become a flame with God's most heated wrath as a portion of their congregation wisely leaves its midst and haste. This vision was written for the appointed time at the end, written plainly on the tablets, Habakkuk 2, so those hearing it read may run fast. <laughs> And nor do wolves in sheep's clothing even recognize the living voice of creation who spoke this fiery word of the Lord's most passionate passion into being. So it's time to acknowledge the Lord's truths. Accursed are such germs in the disguise of men. Such delusional ones stupidly refuse to cast down and take into subjection thoughts contrary to the miraculous ones coming forth by this inspired word of God. And it is foretold that God's word would only be closed until the time of the end, had to reopen for he who would bring forth the preparation of Christ's peace and the preparation of his love as his love goes forth as a storm. And he shall have his way in that storm and the clouds of our racist and bigoted uh, hardened hearts accusing each other endlessly of deep demonic people calling me a wicked, wicked man because I preach love. And uh, man, that is, uh, should say something to somebody. I'm not lying. 
brand new beast and that guy would be cool. But there's a lot of uh, anti-Christ wannabes out there because to be anti-love is anti-Christ. And it doesn't have, you don't have to be the anti-Christ, but anti-Christ nonetheless. So until next time, love from love, love from hope. And don't be a Randy Bees kind of guy now. <laughs>